Today in the news, an AMD rep responds to the sizzling 7900 XTX and XT temperatures, and we talk 4070 Ti prices. What's up guys, I'm Snows, and this is your boot sequence. Let's get started with, well, AMD. It looks like the whole junction temperature issues for the RX 7900 series is still evolving. For those who didn't know, the 7900 XTX, or even the XT for that matter, have a bit of a cooler issue. Specifically, we're talking about the reference designs, so these that look like that. So what's the problem? Well, a lot of people who owns these cards have been reporting really high hotspot temperatures. We're talking 110 degrees Celsius, which is the max that the card can hit before starting to throttle some else. And while AMD said that it's uh, within specifications, the high temperatures do affect the gaming performance, since the card, well, has to downclock to keep itself cool. AMD even refused warranty service to some customers who were in that situation. So what's the news? Well, an AMD representative stuck his neck out to respond to the situation on Reddit. He says that the company is aware of these hotspot issues being reported and they're actively investigating slash correlating steps to reproduce the issue. And they're also collecting serial numbers to see if uh, this issue might be specific to a certain batch of cards. He says that it looks like there were two or three specific batches or signatures as he calls them. He also added that if you have a mechanical issue, then just RMA your card but I'd say that would only apply if your GPU was outright borked or if a fan wasn't spinning or something like that. Also, they're looking for solutions in firmware, which I don't know how I feel about that. All I could see that doing would be, I don't know, locking down the boost frequency for better thermals. That would mean less auto OC boosting. Or it might be because of the DisplayPort pin 20 issue. That's a throwback problem where some DisplayPorts to DisplayPort cables were manufactured poorly with the pin 20 wired. Pin 20 is a power pin that outputs something like 3.3 volts, and it was used for things like DisplayPort to DVI conversion. The problem is some manufacturers of DP to DP cables forgot to leave that wire out, which means that the 3.3 volt active power was being sent to where it wasn't supposed to be. This user here seems to have had that happen to them and well, switching cables actually fixed his temperature issues. Keep in mind that in this specific case, it was a cabling issue, not an AMD issue. Also, it's a very niche problem. Going back to the AMD rep though, he also said that 110 degrees for the hotspot is within spec if your card is getting, let's say up to 90 degrees on the GPU edge temp, that's the average temperature. But if the hotspot is at 110 degrees, while the edge temperature is at 70 degrees, well, then he says, yeah, that's not ideal. But that second scenario that is not ideal is actually something that a lot of users are reporting on Reddit. Here's one, for example, with 110 degrees at the hotspot and 74 degrees for the edge temperatures. The problem is that AMD is actually refusing RMAs for that specific situation. Plus with testing, it seems like people have figured that in a regular PC case with, uh, give me a sec. So they figured that in a regular PC case with the card oriented like this, so horizontally with the cooler down, the cooler is basically pulling itself slightly away from the die, which gives it these bad temperatures. They figured that because in a normal test bench orientation, so like this, everything is fine. And it might explain why reviews never had that issue. Everybody has test benches with uh, vertical GPUs instead of being horizontal in the case. A power color uh, representative called Power Color Steven over on Reddit is also collecting as much info from customers as possible to send over to AMD to let them know how many customers might be affected. Thanks, PowerColor Steven. I'll say it again, it's a real shame that this hasn't been caught to pre-launch. I mean, even the customers who actually get an RMA end up with uh, AMD telling them that they don't have any cards in stock and that, well, they can receive a reimbursement instead. It's kind of crazy. What are your thoughts on this? Let me know down below. Moving on to the other side, we have Nvidia in the news. So the pricing of the 4070 Ti has been a pretty hot topic lately. We all know that it's just the 4080 12 gig in disguise, but we've been hearing that the uh, price could be lower than the $900 price point that we saw for the initial launch of the 12 gig model. Well, it's not lower, or is it? 
Well, a couple of 4070 Ti's were listed on a Chinese website, and there, the minimum price was 7200 RMB, or the equivalent of $1,034 US. Given that China has a 13% sales tax, that means that it would sell for, drum roll please, 900 bucks. Yeah, no uh, price difference here, unless, Tom from Moore's Law is Dead is correct. His sources tell him that 800 bucks is the price of the card. I guess we'll know in about a week. Anyways, guys, that is pretty much it for today's catch up. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Drop a like if you liked it, a comment if you want to talk about today's stories. As usual, it's right here to see the latest video right here to subscribe to the channel. Stay frosty, my dudes, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.